Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about two CD series that are fabulous for your kids and that they will enjoy, that they'll learn a ton from. The first one is the Classical Kids series. You may have heard about this. It's been out for a while. It includes, I have them all here, Mozart's Magnificent Voyage, Mozart's Magic Fantasy, Hallelujah Handel, Beethoven Lives Upstairs, Mr. Bach Comes to Call, and I think there's, some, there's even some others that I may have missed. but. What, this, what they did is they took the music of all of these composers and they created this enchanting story and they have woven all of the music of the composer into it. Now, only Beethoven lives upstairs do they actually talk about uh, the composer's life. And I think Tchaikovsky in America, they also talk some, about some things of the composer's life. But they mainly focus on these enchanting stories that they're weaving the music into it. My favorite one is um, <clears throat> this Mozart's Magnificent Voyage. It's fabulous. So my kids love them. And so different times of the day when they were playing, I would play them. When we were in the car, I would play them. But the, the place that I played them that our kids love the most is when they were uh, going to bed at night. Okay, so invest in a cheap CD player. You can get them on Amazon. Invest in these CDs. You can get them on Amazon and start playing them. I would start out with Mac uh, Mozart's Magnificent Voyage. The music is really fabulous, it's cheery, it's bright, it's entertaining, and the kid, your kids will love the story. Okay, so they'll learn a lot. They'll be able to recognize. And one thing that I noticed with our kids is they were able to recognize when they heard this classical music, they were able to identify who the composer was, which is pretty good. I remember I had a class in the eighth grade on music and we had to identify the composer and it was very confusing to me. And I thought as an adult, if I had been able to listen to a lot of that music as a child over and over and over again with repetition, that I probably would have picked up and recognized it much quicker and faster and done better. Okay, so this classical kids series, again, you can get them on Amazon, um, get an inexpensive CD player and play them, uh, play those for them every night and, and play different ones and so forth. The other series is super, super old. This series has been around since I know the 70s. And this is an introduction to the classics. It's the Vox um, classical music series, or it's the Music Masters series, okay? And they have a CD, one for every single classical composer from the Broke, the Classical, the Romantic, and the 20th Century. All of them are included. What they do is these are biographical sketches. They're giving music about the composer and they're playing that music in the background, but they're giving the entire story and the uh, uh, the biographical information and different things that happened to each one of these composers, a little bit of the background of how they came to compose some of the pieces of music. So this is extremely educational because your kids will come away from listening to these CDs. And I, I played them back and forth. Sometimes I do the classical kids series and sometimes I would do the introduction to the, uh, the classical composer series. Okay, because I wanted them to know the lives of the composers. Now, obviously these weren't around when I was growing up. Up. But one of the, some of my favorite series of books that I uh, checked out from the library were books about composers. I love them. And the librarian at our school, she knew that I loved them. And so when I would come into the school library, she'd always have some of those tucked away for me to check out. So it's just fun to know about the li their lives and some of the trials and challenges and hardships and difficulties that they went to and some of the wonderful things that they accomplished and did in their lives and their triumphs and their successes. So try out one of these two series. Better yet, try out both of these series. They are fabulous. It's another wonderful way to educate your children in music. Let me leave you with this thought. It's by J.S. Bach. I was obliged to be industrious. Whoever is equally industrious will succeed equally well. Now, this becomes really a very profound statement by J.S. Bach when you consider that he was the court, um, he was the church kapellmeister. He um, came up with all the music every, he composed all the music every single week. It was new music for the church. So if you think about that, and I think he has something like 20 children too, um, he had a busy, busy household. I mean, things had to be incredibly chaotic. And for him to be able to focus and to concentrate and to write that much music, I mean, he was 
enormously prolific in writing music. And so, yes, um, that quote becomes even more poignant when you think about what he did in his lifetime. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.